pressure is almost entirely on Barcelona. No Neymar, so it's just two-thirds of their talented trident tonight. There's no more Champions League either, so they have to put Wednesday's quarter-final exit behind them. Their season now really rests on this game. The second and final Classico of the campaign could prove a decisive one. Should be quite a spectacle for the 80,000 or so fans who are cramming into the Estadio Santiano Bernabeu as we speak to watch what we hope will be an enthralling encounter. Kick-off at 7.45 here on Sky Sports 1. Why so pivotal? Well, have a look at this. If Barca lose, they will be six points behind Madrid having played a game more, but win and they will go top on goal difference and have a better head-to-head -head compared to their great rivals. Your sense, however, look at this. This I find very surprising, Guillaume. In the last 11 Clasicos, he's failed to score in nine of them. And in fact, he's failed to score in all of the last six. Why? No idea. <laughs> <laughs> I think it's, it's the first time I don't have an answer for anything because actually you're talking about a very good Barcelona, a, a very bad Barcelona in that period, and a no right Barcelona. Mm. So now you can say, right, when they play 3 4 3, for instance, it doesn't work because actually it becomes a funnel, there is no space for him. If Neymar doesn't play like today, there'll be two or three on Messi, he won't score, it'll be difficult for him to score. There's a lot of reasons that you can go in, into detail too. But uh, in this team, he's outstanding the way he goes forward, the way he does defend. He's playing as a 10, left winger, left back, tackling in his box, assisting in the other one. I mean, this is a, a, an example because it wasn't easy for him when he first arrived in Madrid. Iniesta to Rakitic. Messi, you can't pin him down to a position. Jordi Alba. Suarez has hung deep. Whistles one it. Jordi Alba. For a few weeks where... Jordi Alba was sacrificed as Luis Enrique experimented with his formation, playing three at the back. No room for experimentation tonight against Real Madrid. Messi all oh, gets past Casemiro. He's going to have to watch his step tonight, Casemiro. That's his job to stop the flow in midfield and oh, the referee. A yeah, very early booking. That's dangerous. He doesn't need to get. That's one of the things he needs to improve on for me. That's. Tight walk rope, he's walking now, and he doesn't really need to do that early on. He's only on the halfway line, and he doesn't need to foul him. From right back spot, good engine, and he starts it all off, and then the ball's played out wide. Andre Gomez, he plays in Jordi Alba, cuts it back, and then watch this from Messi. What a finish! That's his 47th goal of the season, Rob, and he is the best. He's the best there is, he's oh. the best there ever has been, possibly the best there ever will be. That's those Real Madrid defenders that were left in his trail there. He has taken Barcelona level with Real Madrid at the top of the table in an instant of magic. The slightest of gaps, the biggest of goals from Lionel Messi. 500 up for him.